Oh, make me laugh. Jealous of what? You and your peasant friends? I take my fair share, you... The barley in that silo was watered by my blood and sweat. Yes, and you get your share of silver when I sell it. But you keep most of it. Of the thousand you made last month, I got a measly two hundred. I deserve the extra profit. I secured the sale and managed the tax. Endless hours of negotiating. You there, Dane. Who deserves more? The worker who makes the barley, or he who actually sells it? The silver should be shared equally. How am I to be encouraged to make all of these deals? My endless hustle, the paperwork, he couldn't sell his own eye. The barley would never even exist without me. My barley is known across Mercia and Essex. Sebi's slush. My soul is in the mug. Hmm. God will the situation is strained between these two brothers. We need to get wise. Moving right along. <laughs> I, good farmer. I don't know what to do. I have such anger in me. Take a breath, drink some ale, and enjoy your hard work. No amount of silver is worth a broken friendship. Impossible, I'm afraid. When my blood boils, the world must know. In my home, there's only one way to settle this honorably a home gang. You're right. Bollocks to him. I'll pummel him! Give him a taste of a laborer's fist! Fucker! Raise my fists. I shall. Oh, I shall. Suffer. It is true that we were once all so happy. Perhaps we can now start from scratch. We didn't just carry off the nuns. I'm sure others had worked with us, against them. Children, has your family always been this quarrelsome? Yes, they have. But I hope that has changed thanks to your intervention. Even if it was drastic. Thank you. This is for the best. Our fathers would fight forever otherwise.